All right, so in this video, we want to order these fractions from the smallest to the greatest. And I suggest you pause the video, give it a shot, and press play when you're ready to talk about it. All right, so, so I just, you know, looking at these fractions before we get into the specifics, I noticed that this fraction here, 14 fifteenths, it's the only fraction that's not improper. It's the only one where the top number is smaller than the bottom. So that means if the top number is smaller than the bottom, it's less than 1. Right, this is 14 out of 15. Every other one, the top number is bigger than the bottom, so they're all over 1. So here, 14 15 I know right away, before I do any thinking about the details of this problem, it's the smallest. So, okay, I've got that. That's my smallest, 14 out of 15. Well, now I might think, well, how much bigger than each of these are 1? Well, this is 13 twelfths, so this is a twelfth bigger than... One. And all I mean there, if you have 12 twelfths, that's one whole. 13 twelfths is an extra one twelfth. Here, this is a ninth, excuse me, an eighth bigger than one. And this 7 sixth is a sixth bigger than one. So now I can see something here. I know a twelfth is smaller than an eighth, and an eighth is smaller than a sixth. So this is a tiny bit bigger than one. It's a twelfth bigger than 1. So I know it's the next number, right? It's bigger than 14 fifteenths. And I know that an eighth is smaller than a six, so this is an eighth over 1, so 9 eighths is next. And then finally, we have a sixth bigger than 1, so 7 sixths is the largest. It's a full sixth larger than 1. So here we could compare these by reducing and trying to equal fractions. Um, denominators, excuse me, that might get us some large numbers, but you can confirm this. If you want to see that this is the correct order, multiply each of these fractions by all of the other denominators. So in the first one, you would multiply it by 8 times 12 times 15. There are other ways you look for common factors and call it a smaller common denominator, but get a calculator out and try it. Multiply this 6 and this 7 by all of the other denominators. Then do the same for each fraction. For, so for 9 eighths, you would multiply it by 6 and 12 and 15, the top and bottom number, and so on and so forth, and you'll see this is the correct order. All right, thanks.